we've heard all the time from buyers, I am waiting for prices to drop. I'm gonna sit on the sidelines and when prices are dropping, that's when I'm coming out to purchase. I hope y'all don't wait too long because I've been hearing that for three years now that I'm waiting for prices to drop and for three years, prices have gone up historically high in some of those years, normal for other ones of those years. If you look at the statistics that we keep as agents and as the National Association of Realtors, all the way back to like World War II, prices have always increased. There have been years where you've had just a little bit dip and then gone back up, but every year except for 2005, six, seven, and eight, because that's when the um, lenders did their stupidity and gave a lot of people arms that they couldn't afford and foreclosed on a lot of things. Minus those years, prices have always gone up. And we don't have that same situation now that we had back in 2005, six, seven, and eight. There are not a lot of adjustable rate mortgages out there. There are not a lot of what's called subprime loans out there. There are a lot of people out there that actually own their home and they own more than 30 to 40% of their home. So if they are in, find themselves in a financial situation where they might be getting foreclosed on or might be close to it, they can sell their house and make money off of it. I have helped some of those people this year. I have helped them do that where they walked away from you know, their house with some cash and they avoided foreclosure by the skin of their teeth. So what I'm saying is prices aren't going to drop anytime soon. You're not going to see that because the historical data shows you're not going to see that and looking at actually who owns the house and how many loans are out there and what's subprime and what's prime and all of those factors that go into uh, whether prices are going to go down or up, they are going to continue to go up. The other big thing is we're still in a seller's market. We are still under two months of inventory here in Richmond, Virginia. A seller's market's defined as four to six months of inventory or less, and we are still under two months. And if you have the demand of that with a supply very low, supply and demand just tells you prices are not gonna decrease. Because when demand is high, supply is low, prices continue to go up. It's not until you flip that with low demand and high supply do you see prices increase correct or stay the same. And to get from, get into this seller's market, it took us 11 years. I've been in real estate five, and we've gone from two weeks of inventory to two months in that five years. It's gonna be a while before we get into a buyer's market and demand is very low and supply is very high. And that is the world we need to be in for prices to be able to either decrease a little bit or just steadily increase instead of over the past couple years where it's incredibly increased. So if you're waiting on the sidelines for prices to drop, let's talk about why and let's talk about what you're looking for and what's actually being sold in today's market to see if it's something that you can afford in today's market so that you can ride the wave of having the equity and continuing to build the equity instead of the wave passing you by and the houses now being able not to be afforded by you in three or four years as you wait for them to drop because that's the last thing we want is for you to be priced out of the market. So if you've got questions or you think differently, leave it in the comments, give me a call, shoot me a text, and don't forget to like and subscribe.